Hey there, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when this video finds you. Coming into a seated, either an easy meditation pose, left foot in front of your hips, right foot in front of your left foot, or coming into a seated Virasana warrior pose, where the feet come to the sides of your hips here, and then your knees come to touch. Um, this can be a little uncomfortable when you're first starting out. So if you have a yoga block, feel free to put it right underneath your seat for support, or um, if you don't have a yoga block, a pillow or a blanket is completely fine. If you're in Virasana, um, left palm on top of your right palm, thumbs come to touch. And then taking a deep inhale in, rolling your shoulders up to your ears, closing your eyes, exhale, rolling your shoulders back so they come to hug one another. And then if you're in easy seated pose, um, point your finger and thumbs come to touch, hands to your knees. Same thing, inhaling in through the nose, rolling your shoulders up to your ears, straightening out your spine, chin lifts up a little bit, exhale, shoulders come to touch. Taking a deep inhale in, lengthening that inhale. Receiving all of that positive, loving, high vibrational energy. And then exhale out, maybe a sigh to, for an extra release. <sighs> Give yourself permission to be completely present now, focusing on your breath. Inhaling in, longer exhales out. Releasing tension in all of your muscles, in your cells. If a thought comes by, just imagine a cloud coming in front of you to pick it up. Putting the thought down to your cloud. And then pushing the cloud away. Reminding it, reminding yourself you can always go back to that thought later. For right now, this is your time. Thank you for its energy and thoughts and send it away so you can go back to it later. <clears throat> Taking a deep inhale in through the nose to prepare for a round of home inhaling. Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Bringing your palms together, bowing your head down. Namaste, the light within me sees the light within you. Let's go ahead and we'll come into an extended child's pose here. So we can start to connected to our heart a little bit more. Big toes come to touch, knees to the outer edges of your yoga mat, hips to your heels, extending out with your palms in front of your forehead to your mat. Extended child pose, taking long inhales in, long exhales out. Looking forward to the front of your yoga mat, and bringing your knees back to center, and then coming into tabletop position, shoulders uh, right above your wrist and hips right above your heels, and then coming to the bottom of your toes, lifting up your hips, coming into downward facing dog. Gain 
raise your belly button, toes pointed to each other very slightly, like a pigeon, walking out your dog here, warming up your hamstrings, taking some long inhales in, longer exhales out. Let's go ahead and step to center with our left foot in, to, uh, in center. Right leg comes up, it's going to be like a dog. Inhale in. Exhale, stacking your hips, coming into fire-headed dog pose. Right hip on top of your left hip. Inhale, straightening out your right leg. Exhale, bringing your right knee to heart center. And stepping forward to meet with your right foot onto your yoga mat, arms come up, high lunge. Deep inhale in, exhale, hands to heart center, arms to the sides of your body. And then leaning forward with your strong core here, not really putting our core onto our thigh here. We're just going to strengthen that core. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, framing your right foot and leaning forward. Inhale, opening up heart center, chin lifts up. Exhale, stepping back to reach with your right foot to reach behind you. And then coming back into a regular downward facing dog. Going a little bit deeper into your dog. Inhale, pushing forward a little bit. And then exhale, gaze goes to that belly button, pushing against your palms here. Uh, well, your, your pointer finger and thumbs, not putting too much pressure on your wrist here, walking out that dog. And then right foot comes to center, so we'll do the opposite side. Inhale, left leg comes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, stacking your hips, left hip on top of your right hip, fire hydrant dog pose. Inhale, straightening out your left leg. Exhale, we'll go ahead and sweep our left knee underneath our heart center. Stepping forward to, um, with our left foot in front of us. Inhale, arms come up, coming into high lunge. Inhale, exhale, hands to heart center. Bringing your arms to the sides of your body like an airplane, leaning forward with your core. Not really placing our core onto our thigh here. Like an airplane, strong core. Deep inhale in, exhale, point, uh, framing your left foot. And then inhale, opening up heart center, chin lifts up. Exhale, reaching with your left foot behind you, downward facing dog. Walking out your dog here. <clears throat> Looking forward to the front of your yoga mat, bringing your knees down onto your yoga mat. And coming into a tabletop position, wrist underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, bow the end of the yoga mat, chin lifts up, coming into a cow pose. Exhale, arching your spine, chin to chest, cat pose. Inhale up. Exhale, cat. Inhale up. Exhale, cat. Inhale, up. Exhale, cat. Coming back to regular tabletop position. And then we're just going to kind of um, bring our, uh, our right hip and then our head together. So we're going to kind of go from side to side, just warming up our spine the opposite way. Head to 
your left hip. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, meeting to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale. Coming back to regular tabletop position. Taking an inhale in as we prepare. Exhale, keeping our knees and hips exactly where they are. All we're gonna do is we're gonna walk our palms out in front of us, coming into puppy dog pose, and then leaning your forehead on down to your yoga mat. Looking forward to the front of your yoga mat, walking your palms back to you, and then coming um, back to a regular tabletop position, coming to the bottom of your toes, lifting up your hips, down your facing dog. Walking out your dog here. And then let's go ahead and turning our left heel into a 45 degree angle, taking a deep inhale and stepping forward with your right leg out in front of you, arms come up, warrior one. Left leg, um, or sorry, left hip leans forward, uh, making our hips parallel to the front of our yoga mat. Exhale, hands to heart center, and then warrior two, arms to the sides of your body. Deep inhale in, exhale, let's come into graceful warrior. Left arm reaches behind you, right fingertips point to the back of your yoga mat. Inhale, regular warrior two, leaning forward with our palms in front of you, freezing your right foot. Exhale out, straightening out your left foot, placing the palms all the way into your yoga mat, and then stepping back to meet into plank pose. Shoulders on top of your wrist, strong core. Inhale in. Exhale, chaturanga. Modify is okay if you need to put your knees down. And then placing, uh, keeping your elbows close to your ribs. Inhale, coming to the top of your toes, upward facing dog or cobra. Opening up heart center, chin lifts up. Exhale, bottom of your toes, downward facing dog, and gaze comes to your belly button. Taking a deep inhale in and a deep exhale out. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and turn the right heel in to a 45 degree angle as we prepare. And then taking a deep inhale in, stepping forward with our left leg out in front of us. Arms come up. Warrior one on the right side, or sorry, the left side. <laughs> right hip comes forward. Inhale in, exhale, hands to heart center. And then warrior two on the left side. Deep inhale in, exhale, um, right arm comes to reach behind you, graceful warrior, left fingertips point to the back of your yoga mat, gaze to your left fingertips here, inhale, straightening out your arms, exhale, arms in front of you, we are framing your left foot, straightening out your right foot, stepping back, downward facing dog. Looking forward to the front of your yoga mat. Stepping, hopping, or jumping to the front of your yoga mat. <laughs> Coming into halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale in. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, vertebrae by vertebrae. Starting to come up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center, and then to the uh, Tadasana, mountain pose. Standing 
tall and strong, just like a mountain. Let's go ahead and lift up all of our toes, placing our toes down one by one, becoming one with our yoga mat. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, we're just going to come into a little bit of a Tadasana twist here. Hit a palm send to your hip here, keeping your hips par parallel to the front of your yoga mat. Gaze looks behind you. Inhale, arms come up. We'll do the opposite side. Exhale, palms down to your right hip now. And hips remain parallel to the front of your yoga mat. Gaze looks back to the back of your yoga mat. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose, bending your knees, gaze to your fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart center, Tadasana, mountain pose. Finding something in front of you that's in balance that you can focus on for, the, for this next one. Something that's in stillness. Putting your weight onto your left leg now, now that we've uh, grounded our feet onto the yoga mat here, becoming one with the yoga mat. And then once you feel strong in your left leg, engaging the quadriceps and hamstring, and then taking an inhale in, bending your right knee, coming into a 90 degree angle. Feel free to stay here. If you'd like to come into a dancer pose, feel free to do so. Reaching your right foot to reach behind you. Peace fingers on your uh, right arm, reach for the right big toe. And then um, dancer pose. And placing your right foot onto your yoga mat. And then lifting up all of your toes once again, placing your toes down one by one, becoming one with your yoga mat. Putting your weight onto your right leg this time, engaging the quadricep and hamstring. Inhale, lifting up your left leg once your gaze is on that thing in front of you that's in stillness. So here you can feel free to stay here. If you would like, maybe coming into dancer pose on the left side. Gently starting to come back out of that, coming through the front of your yoga mat. And let's go ahead and bring the um, toes to the outer edges of our yoga mat. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, bringing hands to heart center and then elbows to the insides of our knees, coming into yogi squat. Placing your palms onto your yoga mat, bringing your seat down onto your yoga mat, and then just coming into a windshield wiper here, palms to the sides of your body, and bringing your knees from one side to the next. Windshield wiper, your hips here. And then coming back to center, extending out with your legs in front of you. Dandasana, stick pose, straightening out your spine. Inhale, arm, uh, in arms, come up. Exhale, leaning forward with your belly button first, engaging your legs, engaging your feet. When your belly button can't reach anymore, placing your palms onto your thighs, shins, ankles, or around your feet. Releasing your head. And then gently starting to come back up. Bringing your seat to sit on to, or sorry, bringing your back onto your yoga mat. Peace fingers wrap around your big toes and elbows to the insides of your knees. Rocking from left to right, happy baby. Bringing your feet to sit uh, back onto your yoga mat and then palms to the sides of your body, 
feet remain about hip distance away from one another right below your seat. And then inhale, we'll lift up the belly button. Bridge pose. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale, release. The next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and bring our legs up to a 90 degree angle. Um, and we can keep our legs here if this feels like enough to you. This has amazing benefits. If you would like to go a little bit further into um, this position, I do just want to let you know before we get into shoulder stance pose, if you have a history or you currently are dealing with a back injury, neck injury, or possibly a, um, a head injury or a high blood pressure, history or current, um, just please just use your discretion. Um, it's not really recommended if you have any of those, but with that being said, you can stay here and it has just the same amount of benefits, so this is good. With your hands for support though, if you're ready for shoulder stand pose, lifting up your belly button above your shoulders, using your hands for support, coming into shoulder stand pose. If you would like to stay here, feel free. If you would like, maybe bending the right leg, pointing that left leg, and then doing the opposite. And then switching. And then if you would like, straightening out your legs, maybe keeping your left leg straight, Right leg reaches to reach behind you, coming into a little bit of a stretch here, split, and then maybe doing the opposite side. Pointing your toes, releasing your back onto your yoga mat. Making any last movements that you'd like to make, maybe coming into a spinal twist. And then coming into Shavasana, laying down pose. Feet come to the outer edges of your yoga mat, palms to the outer edges of your yoga mat. Taking a deep inhale in, arms stretching above you, as if somebody was pulling onto your hands, pulling onto your feet, and then exhale, releasing into Shavasana. Closing your eyes, allow your body to get completely heavier, allow your gaze to relax, releasing tension in the jaw, releasing tension in the tongue. Relaxing all of your muscles. With your gaze still closed, gently rolling over to the right side of your body, giving yourself a big hug, thanking yourself for bringing you to your practice and anything else you would like to be thankful for. And with your eyes still closed, coming up into the seated easy meditation pose. Straightening out your spine. Shoulders held back. Taking an inhale in for a round of Om Shanti. Inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bringing the palms. 
palms to heart center. Peace, peace, peace. Namaste, bowing your head. The light within me sees the light within you. Thank you so much for joining today, and I can't wait to see you again uh, soon. By the way, if you're wondering what's going on back there, I just made you guys a Halloween yoga course, 13 days of Halloween um, ghost stories, as well as some 10 to 15 minute yoga um, flows for 10 to, or sorry, for 13 days. Um, so I made that for you guys. Um, and just for you guys, I gave you guys um, a promo, so it'll be 70% off for you guys. Um, it'll be in the bio and then also in the comment as well, too. I hope you guys get it. Um, it is spooky, so for those of you who want to enjoy, like, that spookiness, <laughs> um, and then also get a little bit of gentle exercise, then that's for you. Um, well, I can't wait to see you again soon. Enjoy.